Throughout today's video, we're actually going to be taking a different approach as we haven't really covered programming languages as a whole. This is where I would like to introduce Wing Language, also known as Wing Lang, a programming language for the cloud with AI integrations. Wing Language is a unified programming model which is combining infrastructure and runtime code into one language. It's designed for building cloud applications. Just take a look at this demo video from the devs behind Wing Lang, which is allowing you to build an AI application using the language that uses Amazon Bedrock to fix grammar, pull requests, as well as mistakes on markdown files. Now, you may be wondering, what's so great about this? Well, Wing Lang allows you to build a serverless workflow, which makes life so much easier. Just take a look. Meet Wing Lang. Wing allows you to deploy a serverless app in no time. Here's an example of a joke translator. We create a function that takes a random joke. Later, that function will be translated into an AWS Lambda or any other equivalent provider. Then, we send the output into a topic. The topic has two additional Lambdas listeners translating the joke into multiple languages. Each of those Lambdas sends another request to a translation, Lambdas, that translates the joke into different languages and then sends it to an S3 bucket. Now, we can export the entire code into an AWS cloud formation, deploy it, and we are done. Why do we show you this demo? This is an example of building a quick ChatGPT application without considering scale and deployment. You can deploy an unlimited amount of lambdas. And the best part, Wing can run locally on your computer, so you don't have to deploy your code to test it. Try out Wing Lang. Now, from that demo video, we were able to realize how Wing Lang is being utilized to develop a GitHub application that automatically corrects grammar in Markdown files during pull requests with the integration of AI. Now, what they had done is that they utilized the programming language that provides a unified programming model. And this is something that allows you to easily integrate components such as AI, and this would include natural language processing or machine learning models into their overall code base. This is an integration that enabled Wing powered applications to leverage components like AI for various tasks and this is something that we saw in that particular demo which was allowing you to combine the infrastructures to run and utilize AI in the component of creating something like that application. Now, this is something that we're going to be taking a look at as it's really interesting as this is a programming language for the cloud and it's definitely something that would be very beneficial for many. So with that thought, guys, I hope you find this video to be very beneficial. Let's get straight to it. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Wing Language, which is an open source cloud oriented programming language. It's designed to simplify building distributed systems that leverage cloud services. It allows you to combine infrastructures as well as applications into a unified model. And this will basically allow for execution both locally as well as on the cloud provider, such as AWS. Now, the reason why I wanted to make a video on this is because Wing Lang also emphasizes AI integrations, where it's able to enable different developers or users to focus on business logic while leveraging AI capabilities seamlessly. It provides a higher level of extraction, which is simplifying cloud deployment, and this will basically reduce the need for managing low level details. Now, 
It offers a set of different tools for cloud testing as well as debugging. It enhances developer productivity as well as creativity. And with features like the pre-flight for infrastructure definitions as well as in-flight for runtime code, you're able to see that it streamlines the whole cloud deployment process and it makes it so much easier to express both infrastructure as well as application logic effectively. Now, what we're going to be doing throughout today's video is showcasing the use case of it as well as showcasing how you can integrate AI into this programming language because I definitely see this as an open source language that could be used for simplifying the process of building distributed systems. So how can you get started? Well, it's actually fairly easy. You can obviously install it locally or you can actually play around with it on the cloud. Now, this is something that we'll take a look at as you go further into the video, but it's basically an approach or a beginner's instruction, which will get you started with Winglang, which is the cloud programming language. And it's going to aim to highlight the unique features as well as providing insights into developer experiences that it offers. It's going to simplify the cloud programming language as it's going to showcase how you can integrate infrastructure as well as runtime code into this one language. It's also going to allow you to work more creatively as well as efficiently as you deliver software quicker and with enhanced security. So if you're interested, you can actually follow through with this guide, which will showcase how you can get started with Winglang on the cloud through their playground. But say if you want to install this, it's kind of actually fairly easy. You're going to need to have Node.js 20 or above. This is a prerequisite that you'll need to be having fulfilled before you get started. Once you have that installed, you can then get started by installing the wing cli, which is distributed through npm's command. And you can simply just copy this command, install it into your command prompt, and then you can obviously verify your installation. An easier method is utilizing it through the ID extensions, and that's by installing it within VS Code, or you can do it through Intel IJ which is allowing you to utilize the extended support within these two IDs. To use the wing in other IDs, there's also a couple of other tools that will help you get started. So if you're interested in that, take a look at these links, which will I'll also leave a link to in the description below. In terms of creating a project, as well as showcasing different guides, they have a lot of information on the docs, which will get you started with all of this. To see it, actually, I need to create a pull request that changes uh, a Magnum file. So let's um, edit this um, readme, which is a Markdown, um, and just make a, a very small change. So commit a change, and I create a new pull request. So I'm going to propose this, this uh, change into a new branch, and I'm going to create a pull request. So the change I've made was just uh, deleting the dot here. So we can see this. But if I, but behind the scenes, we, GitHub is accessing my application in a webhook. And as you can see, there's a new update. This, let's even take a look at what this update is. There's a new change since I'm last viewed, and the change, this is the commit. So corrected the spelling, grammar, and punctuation in readme uh, file. I go back to the file changes, and now I can see that a GitHub, and I see application that listens with an S, that corrects with an S. There is a, there is a comma here, and instead of was there was, there's, there's a web. Basically, they, they, they fix it. Now, just as we saw how you're able to utilize the OpenAI API with Wing, you can also do the exact same thing with many of the other examples over here, such as you can work with a static website, which an example is a combination with an API. And you can see that you're going to be able to generate this example using Wing quite easily within a couple of seconds. It's something that you can get started with right away. And just like this, you can do the same thing with React. You can also play around with with, uh, different examples that are over here such as a multiplayer video game you can also set up various other things quite easily with the wing language lastly i just want to emphasize that if you are to go over to the documentation they have a lot of resources which showcases the console itself showcases many examples lots of guides which will get you started quite easily so Definitely take a look at this as it will get you easily started as to how you can use the programming language. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value. This is definitely an amazing programming language that is elevating the game as it is a language for the cloud. It has many capabilities, which incorporates AI's functionalities into it. And it provides a unified programming model that allows developers to easily integrate various components into it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. This is definitely an amazing programming language.
language that you should definitely check out. There's lots to it and I definitely will be making more videos on it in the future. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.